The pallid sturgeon is one of the most endangered species in North America. And Montana is one of the last places where this ancient fish may be able to survive. We only have about 100 remaining in, in Montana and North Dakota in this Yellowstone, Missouri population, but it's still probably the strongest population of pure wild produced pallid sturgeon remaining in North America. Now, after years of research and conservation, fish biologists believe a pallid's early life stage is the key to recovery in the species. So this study is gonna provide the, um, the largest test of the, the whole drift hypothesis. Pallid sturgeon larvae need to drift for several days from their spawning location before they get big enough to settle out and start feeding. But the problem lies where pallids currently spawn, they float into a reservoir, sink to the bottom, and die from a lack of oxygen. To show how far a young pallid needs to avoid these dead zones, biologists recently released day-old sturgeon and followed them 200 miles downstream of Fort Peck Dam. We're doing a larval drift test where we put the larvae in the river from the hatchery and we actually monitor how they, they drift through the system, how they spread out, how long it takes them to, to reach the lower sections of the river, if they'll actually settle and start uh, recruiting to the system. Larvae right there. When completed, this study will show policymakers how much river distance a pallet needs to survive. Once we understand how far these fish need to drift and how the dynamics of the drift work, they'll have a very good understanding of where fish need to spawn to have successful recruitment. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.